Hello, I'm Bird and welcome to Rebuilding Coventry City. It is, of course, episode two. So I'm guessing you enjoyed episode one. That's why you're back. You guys, you're going to smash the like button because you're a legend. I know that. I hope you're happy and safe. Uh, I hope your family's happy and safe. We will get through this corona bullshit together, won't we? And in the meantime, have a bit of fun with Football Manager. And talking about fun with Football Manager, it is currently free to play on Steam until April the 1st. They've extended it. So, Daryl, one of my amazing um, subscribers, has given us a copy to give away to one of you guys to cheer you up. One of you may be uh, self quarantining and playing it, and when the free beat runs out, you're going to be gutted. So, this might be great for you to win a free copy. Um, now, I was going to do a video on it, I'm not now, um, but I did mention in the last episode that it was a clue. Now, the clue is if you want to enter, I was wearing a hat in the last episode. Now you need to email me, don't put it in the comments down below, you need to email me, you'll find my email address in the description. Right, title the email, FM20 game giveaway, and then you've just got to answer this question. What team was the hat that I was wearing, and which quarterback, superstar quarterback, has that team just signed for the NFL in real life? You answer both them questions in an email, and I'll enter you into the draw. For the FM20 game giveaway. Now then, season two, smash that like button. Go and do it now. Come on. Thank you very much. Let's get into it. Well, of course you'll know we won the league last year. It was a bit of a surprise for me. I thought we well, they predicted we'd be six. I always know I can do better than that. I usually do better than what the bookies say. Once I get going and do my thing, um, and most of the year we were top three. We flirted at the early on in the season with a title win. Uh, and then we got a bit of form back, a few other teams fell off, and we managed to win the league by a point last year, which was amazing. This year we have moved out of Birmingham, we're back in Coventry, although we're at the Rico Arena, which, by the way, was once voted something like the 98th or the 99th, the worst stadium in the country for atmosphere, not because of the Coventry fans, I don't think, I think it's more the stadium, it's just, and the fans don't like it, I don't think they want to be there, I don't want to be there. Hopefully we can get them a new stadium together, eh? New Highfield Road, that's the ultimate dream. Hopefully don't call it the Steve Agrivovich, whatever his name is, Arena. Because that will just do my head in, because I can't say his name. Uh, but anyway, yeah, new season, big challenges. Big challenges, because I've only got half a million in the bank and £590 to spend. Now, I've expanded my team. I just haven't expanded them with personnel yet. So we can get an extra uh, physio in. I can get an extra scout in. We can get two extra coaches in. So hopefully we can boost it before the season starts. Give ourselves a nice little advantage. Now, vision wise, you'll see they, they let me expand the coach and the physio, which is great. We've got a new chairman, he's got no money, but he's a nice fella. Um, and the basic one to sell players or buy. I, I don't really get anyone to sell yet. You'll find out about that later. Um, and then my contract expires still at the same time, but they want us to uh, fight bravely against relegation. I think we can do better, hopefully. Uh, and just remain at the minute just wants to remain there's no premier league dreams at all and i haven't got any this is not going to be a bounce up bounce up bounce up let's get in the premier league happy happy days this is a this is going to be freaking well tough now this is my squad we've got no loans or anything this is my bare bones some of them are going to be going some of them are transfer listed and trying to get rid of and uh, and i had my pen my pad out and i'm just going to try and plug the gaps with loans because I will be honest with you this first season in um, the championship there's some good players who have uh, the contract expired but they want like 20 grand a week and we are nowhere near that I could give one player 20 grand a week and that'd be it I need more than one player I need loans for like two three four five grand a week with no fees that's what I need I need loans that really have no wages and no fees I need three players that want to play for free. That's what we need because we can't do it. There's some really good players, and that's one of the frustrating things about it. There's some really good players, I just cannot get them. I found a player in like Argentina playing for some team I've never heard of. Really good prospect who we could sign on a free, right? We'd have to pay compensation of a million quid, and he wanted to come. I'm not even going to show you him, but well, I might do. Um, he wanted to come. The deal was done, and I, I forgot to have noticed the have to pay one million and when it came through it went you need one million quid and i was like well we haven't got it i've got 590 pounds <laughs> yeah so yeah that didn't happen yeah, here he is he's uruguayan uh river platadella something 
uh, in their under 19s team. It's a bit of a random. I didn't actually find him. One of my scouts did. And I mean, got a lot of scouts. I just looked at him and thought, he's got some talent, this kid. Right. He'd be worth it. On a, on a free? Yeah, we can't get him. Gutted. I'll tell you who I did get. Teddy Sheningham. Manchester United legend. Treble winning hero. He's on my coaching staff. Hey, Getting taught how to attack off Teddy freaking Sheningham. It's going to get better than this as well, trust me. Now, my assistant who I showed you in the last episode left halfway through the season. Uh, and I forgot to show you this guy who I replaced him with. Couldn't get anyone better. But he just dung up his boots. He just retired. He's played for Bradford, Rochdale, Motherwell, Gates. Gates said some guy, some of you might know him. His name's Simon Ramsden. Um, but he's willing to do all these culture badges. And I'm going to help try and see if we can not only improve a team, but improve an assistant. A lot of the time I have a great assistant. I think that helps you. And he's not a great assistant. Although he's good. Working with youngsters is good. He's got the framework to be good. So I, I want to develop him. Hopefully he doesn't jump ship and he sticks with me in Coventry. Because I think that would be pretty cool. Now like I said we had some regens in the youth team. And we had a youth intake last year. And we had this kid. Denzel Levy. Who was a max star potential. But on the face of it. I mean he's got good technique. Good dribbling. But I wasn't super excited about him yet. I wasn't going to give him a first team opportunity. And then Brighton came in. With two million or two and a half million quid, potentially, if he makes it as a big time player, six million. I don't think we'll ever see that. And my chairman just overruled it. I had no say in it. And to be fair, I wasn't bothered because I thought we need some money. This was a little bit of a shining light for me because I could hopefully use that, put it into my wages. Leeds also came in and nicked another one of my high prospects. This one was only. 400 grand I think maximum eventually so this is nowhere near as big money as the last one but again it was a decent amount for a club like us a club like us that had 590 pounds to spend so I brought in six loan players they can only have five in your match day squad but it is what it is you've got to rotate and one of the first ones I brought in was Mr. Ko Japanese player who I thought might help us merchandise wise they usually do don't they uh, sell a few shirts even though he's a city player over in Japan um, but he's 23 years old can play at centre half Defensive mid, which is super handy, he's determined, I like the look of him, and cover at left back. Great addition. Next, I brought in an actual left back, Sam McCallum, on loan from Norwich City. Loads of potential, again, another good young player. We needed a goalkeeper, because we only had one, one left, um, and I wanted someone who could push the guy we had last year. Something a bit better, and I think I found it, I like this lad. I have no idea how to say his name. Not got, and I, I ain't got an idea, he's Irish. Could be anything that. I've signed another player from Liverpool, Liam Miller. He's a decent winger in this game, got so much pace. He can play up front as well. He will definitely be a threat. Next up was Kane Ramsey from uh, Southampton on loan. Right back, he can cover at centre half. Kind of players we need, really. A couple of these lads can do multiple things, which is, I need that. We need it. a lot of games, no injuries. We need flexibility. So, loads of potential with this kid. I like to, to see what he can do for us. And then lastly, We've signed James Garner. I've had him before on other things because he's available. He's good. He's cheap. I, mean, he's, I think he's costing me ten grand a week in wages, but no fee. Um, and he, you know, he can play again two positions, which we use in our tactics. So very happy to have him. Now we have signed some players on a free. There's nothing to shout about. Don't get excited. It's one of my staff members getting giddy. Uh, and we sold some other players who are nothing really, really major and nothing, no big fees really. So. We've done all right. I didn't want to spend any money. We need to try and save. I want to try and be successful on the pitch in the championship for a couple of seasons, not get relocated. Which the best way to do that is loaning other people's players. I wanted to keep the squad he had anyway because I liked most of them. Um, but then I wanted to try and save a bit of money, put into the club. So right now for us, we are sweet financially sweet. Um, Four point three in the bank, mega rich, uh, and I've got one point one to spend. Although I don't want to spend it, and I'm not done it. Staff is looking better. The scouting team's got back a bit, so has my physio team. But we have we've gone up a level, and these other clubs have got better and better and better. It's it's tough, um, but that's what I wanted. It can be fun doing a rebuild when you come in and everything's quick, 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 quick. But this was never meant to be quick, quick. So yeah, I, I like it though. And with Teddy Sheningham and Fernando Bloody Torres in our coaching team, we should be scoring about hundred freaking million goals this year. Imagine that. Some young comments you'll have. He's training us today, boss. Uh, Teddy Sheningham. Um, Fernando Torres. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? Absolutely amazing. And it's going to get better. This is my coaching team uh, overall. Obviously, we've got Simon Ramsden, my number two. We've still got Dan Bolas, 
the only original. Uh, two goalkeeper coaches, a fitness coach. Um, but like it, look, that's why I got John Collins. John Collins? I forgot about him and all. John Collins. Legend. Absolute legend. Um, I got him in because he's a decent coach and he got good fitness as well. Yeah, I was trying to spread out, spread it out, man. And I was well happy with my pre season. Uh, I left this to my assistant to arrange. A lot of time I'll do it myself, but I couldn't be bothered. It's in... We say it's like this when you when everything's tickety boo, you're making one transfer to replace the old geezer that's left or whatever. I'll, I'll put more time into little bits like this. But I felt like I was spending so much time scouting, so much time going for players because. There's loads of players out there. You'll go from a loan, but you'll miss out. I went for one lad in midfield in midfield from uh, Liverpool, um, and he wanted to come on loan. But then a, a club came in at the last minute and signed him for like five million. So you know, it's not just this simple process where I go boom, 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 sign five players. It can take ages, as you probably know, if you play the game. But yeah, so I left the preseason. It seemed quite interesting. We we're playing some interesting teams from Europe, which was quite cool, and we didn't get beat. Now, I think we were predicted to go straight back down, bottom three, uh, 22nd after all our signings and all that good stuff, we're predicted to be 21st. So, you know, they're looking at us being in a relegation battle. I haven't been in a relegation battle for absolutely ages. I usually get sacked when I end up in a relegation battle, so I was hoping not. I was hoping here. Yeah. I'd be happy with like here. Yeah. But look at the teams that are here. Huddersfield, Blackburn, Borough, big, big clubs, Birmingham, Cardiff. I mean, this is some big teams. I mean, Watford, Southampton, Brighton are ex-Premier League teams. And we'll have Premier League players coming up against us. That should be a load of fun. Going to the squad depth and a lot of the big-time players, the majority of the real players from last year, I kept giving them all new deals because I like a lot of them. A few of the little fringe ones have gone and been replaced by lone players or a young player. So I was really happy. And I, I'm not going to win the league, but I think I had a good squad, got a good team spirit. Got some good players. Uh, we look good, decent going forward. We've got some pace now. Jordan can always bag us a goal. Gordon's a decent backup. I've got good wingers. They're not world beaters, but we've got a bit of pace again with Miller. Garner, Kelly, Westbrook in the middle should do a really good job for us. Back four's good, especially now we've got the Japanese lad, Hayam, etc. Great right backs, good left backs, good goalkeeper. We are not a team, in my opinion, that's going to get relegated. Now we have some decent youngsters of this team. And I've always wanted, I mean, I've got this kid now, Peter, who's wanted by Middlesbrough. I don't know how much money Middlesbrough have got in the same division as we are. But um, there's nothing to shout about. He's a four star. He's worth 30 grand. But if we could, I, do you know what? I know you, sometimes you want to promote your own players and all that. And I did that with the Munchen Club, if you've not seen that series. I did a lot of that. I just didn't feel like I had the time. I felt like if I started trying to give too many players a chance, in this, especially this first year in the Championship, we might get relocated. But we do have some okay, okay players. I mean, look at, I mean, going up from he's 18, uh, he's out on loan, Dan Lafferty. I mean, look at, they're decent, aren't they? I mean, this geezer, 17. I mean, looks all right. Will Bapaga, they're all right. But if some clubs want to come in and overspend on them and give me a couple of million quid, they're all yours. Now, one thing which might be quite good about being at the Recall Arena, I know if you're a Coventry fan, you probably don't like it. I would like our own stadium. Is when we were at Birmingham last year, we, we were paying them 250 grand a year in rent. And I know in real life with the recall, they have rent disputes. And it's owned by the council on here. But why are we not paying them any rent? It, it'd say it, wouldn't it? We're not paying them any rent. Bargain. Well, it's the 1st of January, halfway through the season. So let's see what we've been doing. And we're going to start here with the Carabao Cup. First round against Peterborough, who we destroyed. 3 0. Look at that for performance, eh? And then shut your eyes because this one's going to happen. Yeah, Bristol City. We were a good team, to be fair. I just thought, you know, we could have done better. It wouldn't help when you, you go down to 10 men, no matter when that happens. Um, so, yeah, that's the Carabao Cup done with. And obviously, there's no leasing.com cup this year. It's just Carabao FA Cup League. It should be a bit easier on the squad. Won't it? A lot less games. Um, and we're at the Carabao Cup a bit earlier as well. So, over to the FA Cup. Hasn't started yet, and we've drawn. Middlesbrough. Where are we in the league? Well, we are 11th. Again, better than what I thought and better than what the bookies thought. They thought we'd be down here where Millwall are on 21 points, but we find ourselves in 11th with 38 points. Only, at this point, three points off the playoffs. It is what it is. I can't help it. But we are, we are 11th, which is really, really good. I've got no one here. 
no one here, no one here, or here, or here, or here. But we're doing enough, and I would take that all day long. The higher we are, the better for reputation, better for confidence. Hopefully, we can build on that. And these are the results from the league, and it is a tough, tough league. And when you look at that, you think, bloody hell, that is sketchy form. Where's it? Have you got any greens there, booed? Got a few. Obviously, enough to keep us mid table, but this is well hard league. Well hard. Um, so I'm not going to go through them all. Obviously, you can see them for yourself. If you want to pause it, I'll do it very, very slowly. Um, obviously, we're a bit sketchy around here. We've been a good one, actually, at this point. But at the end, we haven't been beaten in five games at that point. We beat uh, Drew Huddersfield. Beat bloody Nibble, which is always fun. Drew with Leeds. Beat Birmingham, who we had to ground share with last year. Um, so, you know, again, it's similar, really. Anything can happen. You can go into a game thinking you're going to win get beat and um, I mean look at that there away at Birmingham getting beat at home against Birmingham sorry at home against Birmingham we got beat away against Birmingham we won you just don't know <laughs> finances are dropping we've lost a couple of mil actually a lot more than I thought we were going to um, I was hoping we could have a good few million by the end of the season still really but that's not to be the case but it is what it is because I really want to really want to try and be successful on the pitch like I said by not spending any money and using any money we do have to maybe get a better training ground and so on like that but yeah I don't know if that's going to happen when it came to stats in the league though I, I felt really good um, really good to be fair what we joined 6 23 goals conceded only 6 more than Blackburn at the top where we're struggling is scoring goals everyone needs goals that's how you win games and um, yeah we are definitely struggling 18 probably why defensively we're really good going forward we're not kind of balancing itself out and putting us mid-table this is a squad at the halfway mark arranged by average rating and it looks quite similar to last year we've got like six players five six players who are really standing out obviously a couple of them haven't played as many games so you probably say three players really one of them is mr westbrook all hell zane westbrook um legend absolute beast our leading goal scorer is jabello wesley He's a great player, he's a winger for freak's sake. Um, so I'm struggling. I thought Miller might do better. He's not. I had to think to himself, could I make changes here? Well, a month later, I decided to make things happen. Don't forget, you can only have five loan players in your match day squad. If you do have to rotate these loans, you, know, you can have as many as you want, if you want, but you're not going to fill out your, your team sheet, basically. Um, but what a striker. A lad I knew pretty well, Adam uh, from Norwich, is pretty cheap, two grand a week. Well, that is it, no extra fees, no nothing. I also want to strengthen up my um, defence, even though it's pretty good, why not make it stronger? And when Jake Clark Salter came available, snapped it, snapped his hand off. And last but not least, because of injuries, we were really weak in the middle. When we, when we three main guys are good, they're good, but we didn't have a lot of depth. So we brought in Oliver Skip to help us out. Again, I've had him before. I played the defensive midfielder, can play in the centre, 20 years old. And a month later, we found ourselves in 10th. 10th by the way look at this 49 points Brentford 49 Reading we're like one result away in a, with a bit of mass going against them from being here Four. so even if I ended up around here knowing that we're that close really gives me a lot of hope man it's like we are like we're not we are decent and if we look at the results especially for the last month uh, I think last time I showed you a uh, league game, it was against Birmingham, which we won 2-1. We got beat off Borough, but Borough were good. And then we've not been beaten in five, and this has given us a proper boost. So I just felt like, you know, not only are we starting to, you know, score, but we're starting to play a bit better. Maybe there was a freaking playoff push in us. So not only at this point where we're looking better in the league, stronger, a bit more quality in depth, we the best coaching team. But of course, I kind of brushed over the Borough defeat, but it was in the FA Cup. So unfortunately we're out of the cup early, no FA Cup run for us this year. Well that was good, I didn't want, last year we did really well in the cups, we didn't really benefit financially. And we did win the league by a point. But this year, get the cups man. Wasting time, gonna get me players injured, who cares about all that shit. League, 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 that's all it's gotta be now, league, 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 because the money's in the freaking Premier League. Welcome back, it is now the 1st of April and we still find ourselves in 10th. So we're in the same place, but everyone above us has drifted off. So at one point we were, what, a point away from fourth. We are now 11 points away from fourth. So that kind of shows you what we are. But like I said, I will be happy with anything 10, 
anything mid-table here. My first season when we're supposed to be here with Oxford who we came up with. I, I will take that. <laughs> what was annoying is for when I last showed you, we got beat and we've only won two games since. And a, okay, a lot of games, isn't it? a lot of points dropped. Some of these against good teams. Oh, damn it. Oh, awesome. Sheffield Wednesday. Charlton. Oxford, we should have been beaten. Huddersfield. Huddersfield are pretty good. It is a tough league. Whenever you get a point anywhere against some of these teams, you should be proud when you're Coventry and you just come up. This is a squad though, arranged by average rating. We've got some really good players. Westbrook, Westbrook, Westbrook. Loving uh, Jake Clark, Slate Salter, sorry, has come in the second half of the season and been brilliant. Not only is he scoring goals for the centre half, which is awesome, he's just a very, very good defender who we tried to sign on a free, but he said no to us, and he is signing for Houston. Come on, Ross. Go on, America. Well, here we are. It's the end of the season, and did we manage to do anything special? Obviously, we all the cups. We were mid-table in the league, and we were skint. If you look right now, we're not a skin. I haven't sold anyone. We got something called a solidarity pain. Now, what the frick is that? I've not Googled it. I thought I'd leave it to you guys to get involved in the comments if you know. I like learning off you more. Gets you involved. Here it is. Look, a solidarity payment of 4.8 million last month. If you're wondering about debt, we have got a bit, to be fair. Apparently, we've got 37 and a half. What? Net debt 3.7, transfer debt's not a lot, but we've got loans to chairmans. And are we anywhere near the Prem? Well, not this year, no. We actually finished 12th, so we did drop off quite a bit. It was just a bit of a wet fart end to the season, to be fair. Um, Forest have gone up with Watford, Southampton won the playoffs. Um, only got seven points since the last saw you, didn't we? You can see for yourself, we've lost quite a few. Lost the last two, lost three of the last four. The other one we drew, uh, we did beat Wickham and Watford. On, what Beating Watford is a good result. I mean, Watford not far off the Prem, probably still got some Premier League players, so that was an achievement. Jabello, Joe, Joe Bello, what a freaking player he is. Um, so, yeah, it is what it is. I've got, I've got a lot to do. And this is my squad, and of course, we're going to lose a lot of loans, but there's a good chunk of them I didn't care too much about. Um, some of them have been disappointing, but I've, I've kind of not lost hope in some of them, I think, because I know how good they can be. I might get some of them back. Some of them I want back and can't get back. Um, but when it comes to all the real players, they're all staying. All of them. Um, anyone needs any deals, getting one. Just to keep the lads here. It's just we're getting towards that stage now where people will leave because they want to leave because the contracts run up. And I can't keep just getting in loans because you can only have so many loans in a matchday squad. Yada, yada, yada. You know how it is. So we need to really find that balance, really, of having a lot of good quality loans in because they're cheap. And you're getting quality players cheap. Uh, and then having our own players, so third season is going to be tough because they don't want to go backwards. We've got here, the mid table. Let's try and get up there, at least edge towards the playoffs. So, you have it, the end of episode two, the end of season two, our first year in the championship. We finished 12th. We didn't do anything in the cups. It wasn't all that exciting, but it is a slow build, and I'm hoping you're here for the ride. You're going to see if we can take this club back to where they belong, or I'm just going to keep hitting my head against the brick wall. I've got, there's a part of me that thinks that. I mean, I'm well into season three here, and I'm hoping I, I want to get that finished off tonight or tomorrow day and get it filmed for you later in the week, maybe come out next week, and whenever this comes out in real life. I have no idea. Uh, I've got to finish off. I need some time here. I'm working, you see. I've got no time off. I've got like 11 days. So much still like 11 days. I'm working 11 days. 10 days out of 11. So it's not fun. Um, and I've got to try and get the finishing, t finishing off to... Um, my journey man as well for Saturday, so it's not easy, but hopefully I'll get it all done for you. And uh, you're going to stick with it, and you're going to come back for the journey man. Uh, there will be some more stories eventually, once I've got some time off. <sighs> but yeah, it is what it is. Thank you for sitting here with me and giving some support to the old Coventry and the Sky Blues. We will do this. We're in it together, in everything together. I hope you're happy, I hope you're safe, I hope your family are happy and safe. Just stay safe, wash your hands man. Stay in if you can. Just do all the stuff I'm telling you to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, don't forget FM20 giveaway. FM20 giveaway. Episode 1. What team in the hat I'm wearing? Which quarterback I've just signed? Email me the answer and you'll be in it to win it. Free copy of FM20, right? I'm out of here. Finally. I'm booed. I'll see you next time.